I'm Anil Kumar. It's time to review what we have learned about vectors. Let me begin with R2. In this video, we will learn how to convert one form of equation to another in R2. We are talking about equations of line. So how to convert one form of line equation. So we will review lines in this particular case in R2, two space, right? So let's take uh, the coordinate plane and uh, let us assume that we have a direction vector which is kind of like this. So this direction vector is shown here as let's say this coordinate point is 2 here and that is 1. So we can say that this direction which is for us written as along the x-axis is 2 so we can write this as 2 and along the y-axis is 1 right so that is the direction vector shown in this particular uh, coordinate system now let us say that we want to find the equation of a line which is parallel to this direction vector and it passes through some point here let's say this point here is uh, let's say 1 and let's say minus 2 let us say it is minus 2 right so some point here let's say this is minus 2 for us and from this point a line goes through this point and is parallel to this direction vector so let me sketch one and then we'll find the equation of that line so this coordinate point for us is minus 1, minus 2. So it is minus 1, minus 2. And we want to sketch a line which is parallel to the given line. So I'm just roughly doing all this, kind of like this, okay. And we need to find the equation of this line, let's say L1. So how do we find it? Now since we know the direction, and we also know a point on this line, let's say point P, is given to us as minus 1, minus 2. Then we can write equation of this line in different forms. One of them is the vector form. So we learn vector form in which we say the line L1 can be written as the set of xy coordinates. We'll say xy and these could be any point on the line since we know point is minus 1 minus 2 so we can take that point op is the position vector of this right so this op is the position vector which we are writing here as minus 1 minus 2 plus the parameter t times the direction which is 2 1 where t belongs to real numbers right so that becomes the vector equation of a line. So simple as that in R2, right? Now we could write this vector equation in different forms. If I write this as what is x equals to, let me write down in a different thing. We can write this as x is equal to minus 1 plus 2t. And y is equals to minus 2 plus t right if I write in this form then we call this as parametric equation so this is in the form of parameters this will be called parametric equation okay now this form can be changed to the scalar form or the Cartesian form also so we can convert from here to scalar or Cartesian form uh, let me show you how or Cartesian form to do that we need to isolate t so from the first equation which is x is equals to minus 1 plus 2t we can rearrange we can write this as x plus 1 equals to 2t and dividing by 2 we get x plus 1 divided by 2 equals to t same thing we can do for the second parametric equation which is y equals to minus 2 plus t 
we can isolate t and so we get y plus 2 equals to t. Now in these equations you'll see we have parameter t right so both these t's should be same so we can equate them so from here we can say x plus 1 over 2 is equals to y plus 2. Now this is <coughs> the symmetric form of the equation uh, and then from here we'll move on to the to this scalar form. So this is also called symmetric form. And if we cross multiply and simplify, we get x plus 1 equals to 2 times y plus 2. So that is x plus 1 equals to 2y plus 4. Bringing them all together, keeping x coefficient positive. This is kind of important, right? So x minus 2y bringing 4 which will be 1 minus 4 we get minus 3 equals to 0 so that becomes the Cartesian form so this is the Cartesian form of the equation so as you can see we can write equation of a line in very different forms correct so and that is the way we can convert one form to the other now as an added ex example what we can do is we can actually start from here and do the reverse. We can start from here and do the reverse. Let me take this example also. Let me write down some equation here. So we'll write down 2x minus 3y uh, plus 6, let's say, equals to 0. So we are taking another example just to illustrate how to go from uh, the Cartesian equation to the other forms, right? How to go from Cartesian equation to the other forms. Now, if you are given a Cartesian equation and you have to find the vector equation, for example, then the best way is to isolate y, just as we solve linear equation, right? So we'll isolate y. So that is to say, we'll bring 3y to one side equals to 2x plus 6 and y is equals to 2 over 3x plus 6 divided by 3 which is 2. So once you write in this form we know that the direction is 3 2 right. So from here we know two things. One we get the direction vector which is which is 3 2 right which is 3 2 and then we also get y intercept. If x is 0, if x is 0, I'm writing as a position vector, okay? If x is 0, then y is 2. Do you see that? And then we can write down the, the vector equation, which is xy is equals to the given point, point, which is 0, 2, which is the y-intercept plus t times the direction, which is 3, 2, right? So... So that is how we can get easily from this Cartesian equation, the vector equation. And then we can follow this process to get through all these things. As a note, you should remember that from Cartesian equation, we can read the normal. So, so if the Cartesian equation is of the form of ax plus by plus c equals to zero, then in this equation, the normal vector will be a b straight away right so the normal vector is a b and the direction vector m let me write down will be you change this b and change the sign here b a that becomes the direction vector you can see normal vector is 2 minus 3 and the direction is we swap 3 and 2 and one of the sign changed so so we get 3 and 2 do you get an idea so that is important to understand I hope with this you can recall what all you learned about the lines and how to convert one form of the line to another. And you also learn if I give you equation of line you can always sketch one as we began with. So I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.